Hey everyone! Welcome back! I am back today! Can you take a guess why? I think you know why. It's because today is the best day of the week, you guys. It is Ruby Day. Oh my goodness, it is not just Ruby Day today, you guys. It is time for me to watch the finale of volume seven. How am I even saying that? How am I even here? It feels like it was just yesterday. I started this series and it's actually, it's been like a year actually. I think it's been like close to a year, which is absolutely insane. And guys, I cannot wait for today's episode. So if you're joining me early today, you know just what that means. It means that you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so much. And as always, I am sending up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, still thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in the description down below. Oh yes, and by the way, if you are watching on YouTube today, I would really love it if you could please like this video and subscribe to my channel. So guys, let's get into it. Um, everything went great in, in um, episode, what was it, 10? I think it was 10. And then went to total crap. And episode 11. Like, never seen anything like it. I mean, I have, because they've done this to me before. And, like, I should I should know by now that if, if you're Ruby and you're building me up, oh, you better be scared. You better be scared about what's coming next. Um, because there's just no way that we get... And we do have some really great, fun moments on the show, but they are always, always, always back-to-back -back with drama, guys. It's just the way of this world. Um, and, and the last two episodes were no exception. So we had just some wonderful moments with, you know, just the, the Ironwood and Robin, like, hand-holding. I know it was because of her semblance, but there was also something beautiful and really, um, symbolic about that. Someone pointed it out to me that at one point you can actually see that she does not have his hand anymore and it's when he's telling about it's when he's telling the lie and I'm like oh that oh, that was a clue that was a huge clue um and like initially I was like oh great he they trapped Watts how cool until you learn that like he really didn't let anyone else in on that he just straight up lied to everyone including all the people close to him working with him for him etc um, and they also thought that it was done, that the project was done, and it was not. It was not done. So that was an issue. That was a real issue. Um, all right, guys. Um, so much to say. Uh, first of all, the, the Watts, um, Ironwood fight was amazing. It was really, really good. Um, I guess Watts is, I don't know. I did not see a body with Watts, and I am going to question any death in which I do not see a body. Um, especially on this show. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to take some, some issue with that. But for now, he is gone. He's gone for now. It's funny because I go to, um, Wikipedia to copy and paste the episode titles. And they have the descriptions there as well. So, um, it is funny for when I posted the last reaction, I looked at the description and it said, Ironwood defeats Watts. Did not say Ironwood kills Watts, so something to keep an eye on there. But anywho, it was a great fight. Um, episode 10 was just so wonderful. Everyone putting aside their differences. Everyone, you know, learning to work through, you know, their fear and their frustration and everything. And, and come together for a common purpose. And it's just so great. And then, like, we see... <laughs> just uh, and it's sad it's really sad because everything that they were preaching it's like ironwood gives into the fear the paranoia everything and honestly some people pointed out he may have done that anyway just because he's very traumatized by what happened with fall of beacon his his mind just in general works in a very kind of um militaristic black and white kind of way um and also i mean but cinder like cinder just oh she gets to me so much guys and that is why she is such a great villain she is such a well done villain she's such a well written villain um the execution everything like i really do love to hate cinder and she knew just where like if if we are looking at ironwood's paranoia 
like an acupuncturist. Cinder came in and knew just where to poke to make him give in to it. May, it may have happened anyway, but she just knew just where to strike. Um, just the moment, just the, just having that in his office. And actually it did occur to me after I got, so I guess, are they after, they're after the Winter Maiden? I, I think I missed that part in the episode, um, or, or if I did, I, you know, I might not have missed it, I might have seen it, but just not realized what was going on, but they're, so she and Neil are after the, uh, Winter Maiden, which makes sense, that was my first thought, was like, oh my god, they're, they're after the Winter Maiden, um, but, um, yeah, she, she just knew, like, that kind of vulnerability of just, like, leaving the chess piece in his office was going to completely destroy his his confidence and everything and and having Salem show up <gasps> so, okay so first of all I want to say oh my god Ruby for just staring down face to well not exactly face to face but pretty much face to face Salem and just staring her down and being like ah uh, ah uh, uh, not today now I know that sadly it it again, Salem knew just where to hit in order to just make Ruby crumble. And I got to say, the sight of Ruby crumbling, um, we've seen a lot of people deal with interpersonal stress and trauma on this series. Ruby is the one that I feel like pushes through all that. We very, very, very rarely see her lose it. And watching her just like literally break down to her knees... It just hits you, it hits you even harder than it would with, I think, any other character. It's just my opinion, but in my opinion, I think it hits you harder when it's Ruby. Um, and, and then Yang, like, people pointed out, like, Summer was a mother to her, too. It was really the only mother that, she, when she thinks back on, like, a mother from when she was growing up, it's Summer. Um, and, and just not faltering at all, just getting right in there to help Ruby. No, you know, I mean, that takes some real fortitude as well. Um, so, so, all right, so I'll wrap it up because <laughs> I'll just say I can see my intro is getting long here. I don't want it to take up the whole video. So, um, all right, guys, let's get started on the last two episodes of Volume 7. Let's go. Oh, man, it's twisted again. I'm sorry. Next to last time I'll ever see or hear this. Well, that's not true because I'll hear it in the soundtrack reaction, which I cannot wait for. <sighs> oh man. The, the lightning bolt actually lyric makes me think of Nora. But. I can't, I don't want to listen too hard to the lyrics now because I saved that for the soundtrack reaction. I'm just like, I, like honestly, I'm just like, I'm just, I'm just nervous. I'm just scared because I, I don't, I don't see how we're gonna come back from this. You know, I don't. Can we, can we talk no jitsu, Ironwood out of this? Maybe we can. It did not seem like we could. Um. But yeah, like we're all we're all split apart right now, and the and the Aesops are good. The Aesops, I mean, we've known, we know from the start that they're like, you know, we're we're about getting our job done. You know, yeah, we we get along with each other, that's cool. You know, but we're not like we're not besties. We're not. They don't see each other. I think it's like the found family that the Ruby crew does, and Ruby and I'm I'm not aware even of what they're even called anymore. But John's team, I guess they're just Jayana. All right. I don't know. Ah, Penny! Ah! Oh, Penny! Oh, Penny, get me through this, my love. I am with declaring martial law and abandoning Mantle! Salem is coming and he's going to use the staff to move Atlas! If we don't stop him, Mantle's going to be dis- They got most of it. Martial law? They got most of it. let him do this! Miss Hill, I'm sure the General understands the enormity of this. And he says, of course, because of course they're gonna- course they are and Tyrion's just loving this <gasps> oh no crow's in there too no stop crow, stop you should know that i've been asked to bring you in 
Are you gonna do it? <laughs> oh, shut up! There's shut up! Alert out for Team Ruby's arrest. What? Uh, he's James telling lost him. his mind. He's trying to stop anybody who might get in the way of this inhumane plan. Looks Guys, like let's talk. Me. Guys, let's Again. talk. Only crows no. under arrest. After everything we've been through tonight, oh, please don't make me arrest you too. He is gonna arrest them. Cut no. It Both of you. We're almost back to Atlas. Let's talk to James personally. It's taking a very long time for this show to get to the good part. Shut up. He's yep, right. Thank you. Let's get this over with. Robin. Oh God, no, Robin, don't, Robin. But please. Can cooler heads prevail? Oh no! And they were no. Come to this. It doesn't have to. It does not have to. You can hug it out once we've taken him down. I, as much as I would love that, don't appreciate the snark, dear. But I do feel bad for. Oh no! He's getting one. Stop! No! He's got the hat. No! What did he do? Did he throw them? Oh my god. No. Oh, guys. Oh. What did you do? How did this get worse? Leaving Mantle to perish? He's saving Remnant. We can't let the relics fall to sleep. Girl. But Girl. All those people we just protected. They yes. Don't survive. We don't have time to. That doesn't bother you? Thank you. What about your sister? Our friends? My She's personal under feelings arrest. don't matter. We have orders. Stop. I'm to retrieve the power of the Winter Maiden so we can access the relic. You're here to ensure my safety. Oh, well, come on. We've already Winter. lost enough time. Winter. It should matter. It should matter. Penny, the General is making hard choices so we don't have to. For the good of all, not just a few. I do not see what is good about any of this. Thank you. Yes. On that we can agree. Yeah. She doesn't Please like it. She's just gonna follow what you're it. Doing. You heard the general. Until this is sorted out, you're under arrest. Stop. Guys, this this is oh, this is like this is the really? Please come don't on. Make this difficult. Don't make us they don't want they don't want it either. Force. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're not I'm actually going to slug this out, are we? Thank you! We're not doing anything. They decide what happens next. You think they're just gonna get arrested and go quiet? Yeah, come on. You think like, they're going to stop us. <laughs> we're the best huntsmen in Atlas. You were. Then you trained us. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Such a good line! Yes, you, you yes, thank you, thank together. you. Oh, don't give me that crap. I had you kids pegged right from the start. Oh, come on now. Th that's not, th I really agree with Ruby. They're playing right into, this is exact, we want, they, she wants the fighting amongst ourselves. This is where, this is where Salem lives, is the, is the fighting amongst ourselves and, and strife and conflict. That's, oh. This is a pre it's pretty cool fight though, and boy, with that line from Ruby, you just peacefully. no. Hurt you. <gasps> they betrayed us. You're betraying what? the people you've sworn to protect. Yes. It's not worth it, Blake. They're just following orders now. Oh. She does seem like she feels kind of personally about it. That one individual. But oh, you do not. You do not take Yang. Whoa. Sneezer used to getting what you want, but it's time oh. to let this one go. This is this this ah, cause it's this is she's this a sneeze. Is ah. And I'm not giving it up without a fight. She this uh, she's not. She's not she is not her father. She has gone very far to prove that. Oh my god. Oh, please don't be dead. Please don't be dead. Please don't be dead. Ruby okay, I'll take her. Yes. Surrender, and we can take her to Atlas. Get her patched up. Never pegged you for the manipulative type, but I've learned a lot of things tonight. 
I enjoyed working with you, you know? Even with that endless cynicism of yours. I'm usually proven right. We don't have I... to fight, friend. <gasps> they you are friends. You know my friends. That's mm. how it always goes. It always just seems to come to that, doesn't it? I don't want this. I don't want this. I want them to. And, and you could tell Clover's not. Clover seems like he has gone past the whole, like, we're just working together. Th oh, God. No, no. Oh, no. I don't. I don't know. Uh, he said he thought. I, got I don't. Okay. I don't even know why. I don't. Oh, okay. That's what happened. That's. Oh. Oh! And he's just—he's just, he's just loving it. He's just like, oh my god, no! And he's free, and he's free, and he's free. <sighs> Guys, this is a real metaphor. While we're fighting amongst ourselves, the real enemy. Dear God. Really? You, you, oh no, you'd go after him before you went after, come on. Yeah, let's, let's focus on Tyrion, please. He's the real threat here, jeez, um. So what say we put the kid to bed and then finish it? Well, I just, I'm just, I'm just floored. I'm just floored that you would go after, really? It's, and now, oh, now it's, now it's him and an unlikely temporary alliance. What the heck? <sighs> That's so wrong. That's so wrong. I'm trying to arrest her, not kill her hair. You're being excessive. Yeah, thank, thank you, Meryl gets. If it's necessary. It's not, it's, oh God. This is, this is, and when we just continue to go to crap here, wow. <gasps> wow, it does, it does, it does, it does seem a bit. They've had their chance. Don't be soft. Are you telling me? Or yourself? Oh, I just, I just love that. I just love them working together. I just love them working together. Oh! Oh my god, these fights are just like mesmerizing though, are they not? Oh! Oh! I'm just, I'm just, I'm just. Ah! Uh. Ah! Ah! The song! Oh, very poignant too, the lyrics. Oh, Mar Marrow doesn't, I feel like Marrow and Clover don't, they do not want, they do not want this. And he, yeah, that's it. He can, I'll come back to kind of that like dog kind of, aww. Oh. Oh, yeah, no. See, you trained her too well. You trained her too well. You trained her too well. Oh. <laughs> that lyric, though. Oh. <laughs> nice. Oh, my God. This song is just unbelievable. Done. Done. Oh, really wish it. Ironwood. If you can't yeah. access the relic, he can't move Atlas. We just have to get to the Winter Maiden. Blake and I will look for the others. But, but Winter. It's all so headed there. Oh. This is the part where they ask us to help. <laughs> Thank you, Maria, for <laughs> clearing that. Oscar! 
Oh my god, yes, Oscar! Oh my god, it almost Oscar, oh. you're here! No! <gasps> Oh my god! Oh, that was so close. I should have known by. Showed up and attacked me, but she looks like someone else. Neapolitan. You know her? We haven't exactly heard good things. <sighs> no, no of her. Oh my god! I should have known by the little smile. You said your personal feelings do not matter. They won't change my actions. What I'm committed to. The power of the Winter Maiden and the Relic must be kept from our enemies. Even if it means she dies. Oh! Um... But, yes, Penny. We must still acknowledge our personal feelings. Wrestle with them. Yeah. It ensures us that we're on the right path. It's what makes us human. Right, you don't want to lose I that. That's what Salem... I think I understand. Oh. What was that? Oh poop. Oh poop. So they're about to do what what they were gonna do with uh Pira, right? And the Fall Maiden. Ah, hmm. oh, son of a god. No guys, I'm not losing anyone. I'm not losing anyone, I'm letting you know right now. Oh hmm. both of Ironwood's puppets. Lucky me. Cinder. You were responsible for Beacon, for what happened to me. Yep. It was, unfortunately, temporary. Now step aside or there won't be anything left to so salvage this time. So done. Don't you shoot dare. I think... You're going down. Personal feelings. Ho 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 ho! Personal feelings for the win! Oh I'm I'm so I'm so done with Cinder. I, I cannot believe, I just cannot believe that Clover is going after Crow here and not after really? Like I know he has to arrest him, but seriously, get you're gonna let you're gonna go after him before Tyrion? Come on. God. I I I absolutely hate that. I just Why absolutely can't we just do the right thing. Yeah. Instead of the thing you were told. Right. Yeah. Sometimes the right decision is the hardest to make. I trust James with my life. I want to trust you. That's how he felt about yeah. Aspen, kind of. No, 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 no. <sighs> Does it look like your friend is gonna make it? Oh, you are, you're, you're, oh, dead. I mean, you're dead. Like you just killed Clover. <laughs> oh no, you oh, saw. Oh. Right on time. No. Oh, it looks like our score will have to wait. You know my track record with the authorities. <laughs> Can't, just go away. Just go. Uh, no, he used his. Oh my God. No, and now it's gonna look like he. Oh. James will take the fall. I'll make sure of it. This can't be him. No. 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 Do not be the end of the episode. I swear to God. I swear to God. He had. 
he had one person who just really, I don't want to say just really got him because it's not like he doesn't have anyone in the world, but with his semblance, he really, it was, it was just so hard to get close to anyone. And he finally finds someone to get close to. And Clover, I know Clover felt the same way. <sighs> this is, no, guys, oh, he's really good. He's ready. You, you don't come back from that. You don't call, yes, he's not coming back from that, is he? He's not coming back from that, is he? I can't, I can't do denial mode on this one, guys. I, I cannot. Oh my god, no. And it's already trying to play the next one. I absolutely hate how orchestrated that was because from the start of this whole episode, this whole fight really, I feel like the point has been to get everyone to fight each other so that the real enemy can do what they planned and this was no exception. Because he he killed Clover with Crow's weapon. So it's going to look like Crow killed Clover. Unbelievable. I'm so effing done. And just, you know, we've seen Crow go through a lot, guys. He's recovering from alcoholism. He had some hope. He met someone. And however you choose to look at that, friendship, more than that, whatever, they connected in a way that I feel like Crow has never been able to with anyone else. It's not that he doesn't love his family. It's not that, you know, there haven't been other things that have been important to him. But... I just feel like he has never, ever been able to really be himself with anyone but Clover. And I'm just so scared for what that loss is going to do to him. Um, I feel awful for Clover because you could tell Clover did not want, just even the way he approached that, he was like, you should know that this is what... It's, uh, and he just did not, he did not want that at all. He just did not want it. And I feel like there is somewhat of a parallel between just the unwavering trust that he put in Ironwood. It, it did feel parallel to me to the kind of trust that at one time Crow had in Ozpin. And we know not only does this whole situation make you think like, please don't just follow orders. But having had that trust broken to see someone else with that same trust when they cut went, Oh, that must, that must be so hard for Crow. Um, Oh my God, guys, is there, is there absolutely, there's just absolutely no way. I'm guessing there's just absolutely no way. I don't think you come back from, I don't think you can come back from that. Is there any way he could come back guys? Is there any way he's not really gone? Because I just, I liked him as a character, and I gotta be honest, like, I loved the two of them. I loved their bond. I don't want that to go away. I don't want Crow to lose that. I'm very, very concerned. <sighs> There's only one way to find out, and that's to jump into the next one. Oh, my God. That better be the last thing they pull on me. So help me. I'm afraid to even say that going into the finale. But so help me. That better be the last thing they pull on me. That's all I'm saying. I'm just, I'm, oh, let's do this. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god. Oh, it's the last time I'm gonna see this or hear this. Oh my god, also Oscar almost, oh, he just made it there in the nick of time. 
Dang, that was a good save for sure. We still got, oh my God. So Cinder just showed up, Penny and Winter. Neo's with Oscar and Nora and um, Ren and John. We had a couple of defeats there. Some of the Aesops. We had Pietro and Maria show up. Guys, I'm just still like in I'm just still like in shock. I just uh, I'm just still like running through my head like is there any way and I just don't I don't know. I usually go into full denial mode and I just feel like there's no way for Clover to come back from that. And I'm just so scared. And I'm just oh my god, Tyrion is just Oh it's just more and more want to like scream every time he's on screen. Oh, Crow is after Ironwood. He is after him, guys. Give up. We've got you outnumbered. <gasps> that looks Racing. sharp. There you go. Oh, yeah, I see the set. <gasps> oh, God, no. Please, everyone, be all right. I love Neo so much, though. I don't know who to root for. I mean, obviously, I'm rooting for my crew, but... Not gonna happen. Oh, poof. Oh, we got... Oh, oh my god. Oh my... Oh! Oh, John. Oh! Oh, and she up. Just not gonna happen. Freeze. We got oh God! No, I'm not losing Penny again, you guys. I'm just telling you that right now. That's that's not happening. That's not happening. Whoa! Nice. You Atlas elites are all the same. You think hoarding power means you'll have it forever, but it just makes the rest of us hungrier! <sighs> and I refuse to starve. You know what? I just, I'm, you're not gonna say things to make me feel sorry for you right now. Oh god. Come on, come on, come on! In a two, in a two, in a two on one. Oh my God! Oh! No way! <gasps> please no! Please no! I'm just, you know why? I'm just gonna accept nothing less than than a win here from from my girls. That is so cool. Oh. oh! No! 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 Oh my God! Save her! Oh my! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh! 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 I disagree. Thank you, Penny, for being absolutely everything. Oh. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, my God. It's just a whole lot of running right now. Oh, Oscar. Oh, Oscars. What? Huh? Guys? Guys, which this way? <gasps> Mom, hurry. Oh. Yeah. Oh no, I know. Oh. Yeah. No. No. Oh. Oh poop, oh poop, oh poop, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. No to us! Oh, 
could have gone, of course, of course. Drop your weapon. God bless it. This way. All the time. She's <laughs> like, I'll be going this way. Thank you very much. You had your time in the sun. <gasps> no! I'm afraid your time is up. No, stop, because even if she yes. dies now, it might be the... I've been waiting here. <gasps> oh. For some time, I think. Yeah. What was I waiting for? <gasps> Me. No! Oh, not today. Nope. I had a job to do. Yeah, this 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 lady's gonna be just the ultimate MVP and just and just. Oh, oh! I bet you thought she was just some weak old lady. Nah, nah. Oh! Oh my! That? That's the Winter Maiden. That's the power of the fully realized maiden. Yep. Oh, we gotta get to her. We got. How do we get to her? How do we? It's oh, it's too. It's oh, to even for winter. Penny, what are you do? Penny, what are you? Do Penny, what are you doing? Penny. Penny, I'm not gonna lose you, Penny. I'm, I'm just. Don't be. We weren't ready to become huntsmen. That's not true. That's not true. Why aren't we holding the relic? Now Salem has the lamp, Ironwood has the staff, and we have nothing. Ren, that's enough. Ren, it's. Hello, anybody there? Can you hear me? Our scrolls, Doctor. <laughs> Ha! What are you doing? Go. Gone back up and running. Ship. We need to hightail it out of here. Where are you? The academy training room. We slipped away from some soldiers, but it won't be long before the. <gasps> <gasps> We're on our way. Just stick together. Let's get out. Let's. Oh, guys. Let's Oscar. get out. Sorry, but you all need to go on without me. What are you talking about? Uh, there's something I have to do alone. Oh God, Oscar! Oscar! He's gonna get he's gonna go get that back. He's gonna go get it back, isn't he? Oh my god, Penny. Oh my god. <gasps> and she okay, she can she can with she can withstand it. Okay, she can withstand it. Hi. Um, you don't know me, but Hey. You're okay, you're okay. Oh I had a job to do. Oh my god, right to the end. You're supposed to protect the power of the maiden. Right, Until and you did. And you did. You Hello. did great. I may have lost track of time, but you can tell James that I'm ready now. Oh. Ma'am, if you do that, I'll be gone. I know I have a hard time remembering, but I remember that. This woman. What's your name? It's Penny, ma'am. Penny. Are you the one? Actually, she's not. That's a little bit of a, a little bit of an issue because she's actually not. But can't? But can she? But can she? I... But can she? You are now. Oh, this is Penny gonna become the Winter Maiden. Is can that? Winter. Can that happen? Thank you. I know that must have been difficult. I, I'm so sorry. Uh oh. 
He needs okay. He's got he's going to okay. That's where he's got though. He's going to get the lamp back. Okay. He's he's going to have a heart to heart. And whom do I have the pleasure of speaking with? Still just me. It was smart of you not to bring the lamp down here. That trust me either. Kind of wasn't it. Trust uh, is what I'm hoping to fix. Um, I know we can still figure this out. All of it. Together. Please. Listen to him, please. Do you intend to fight me? No. Uh, he just wants exactly to talk. What she wants. Yes. I guess it's because of us, but holding it helps calm me down. I'm afraid. You still think I'm afraid? We all are. Yes. It's what we do in our fear that reveals- That's easy for you to say! Oh. You can label me whatever you'd like. But the fact of the matter is, I was right! The minute I softened, let my guard down, that's when Salem had her opening. If you abandon Mantle, you abandon our best chance of reuniting the world. You abandon exactly. Remnant, leaving millions exactly. to fend for themselves exactly. so you can survive. What kind All of- All excellent philosophical points that won't matter if Salem wins. Listen to me. No, you listen. I am <gasps> done. Please. Letting others' inability to see the big picture get in the way of doing what's right. Stop. Rob. <gasps> no, he's getting close to the edge. Even you. No. Then you're as dangerous as she is, James. If you lose that James, humanity. James, my friends call me. To you, it's general. <gasps> no! 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 Oh my god, no! Whoa, Winter! No. Oh, poop. No, don't. We can, no, do not let her. Do not, you guys, I'm not, lo I'm not losing Oscar. I'm not losing Oscar. I'm not losing. Penny, I think you have a decision to make, honey. Is Penny gonna become the Winter? Penny is Penny? Okay, oh, all right, okay. No, 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 no. This is not, no, Oscar. No. Is he, did he just take over? Did he just take over to save Oscar? Please, please don't, please don't die, please don't, oh my god, oh my god, Oscar, please, Oscar, please. Please don't die, please don't die. single quality that is common across every living creature on this planet is fear. Oscar? Are you are you okay? Winter. Oh my god, Winter. What did you do? It's funny then that as common as fear is we so easily underestimate its power. Are you alright? Penny? What happened? I... She's gone. gone. Penny, are you the... She's a part of you now. Penny is the winter maiden. Close to someone. The subsequent fear of loss, fear of failure, where's Oscar? 
is Oscar. No, he can't. He cannot be. He cannot be gone. Those fears can take on greater power. Wow, she's Robin is but pretty understanding. Isn't worthy of concern. It is who we become while in its clutches. Right, which is exactly what he was trying to tell. I suggest you all surrender and comply with the general's orders. What? We can't what? do that. No. Then I suggest you run. Run, girl. No, I'm not no went, like winter. Not leaving me. I'm giving you a head start. This is special operative Shni in need of immediate medical assistance. Send reinforcements over. So run, so run, so run. So uh, oh god, You're it's got to be so hard. Home. It's gotta be so hard for her. Guys, you're. We need to go. Go. We need to carve out our own way. That's true. And this, this is her we path. Be proud of that person. Oh my God, Penny, the winter maid. Forgive them. Will you understand? why they felt the need to do the things they did. That is a good question. And she's got it. Oh, poop. Will you even recognize them? She just doesn't. Oh, she doesn't, yeah, of course. Staring back at you be the very thing you should have feared from the start. Oh, he's so still off. We all find out sooner poop. or later. Still alive, son of a gun. Oh my god. Oscar! <gasps> where even, where even are you, sweet? Where, what's going on? What's happening? Power. These memories. You're back, that, aren't you? Yeah. You he's... saved me. Actually, you saved us. Oscar, I... Stop. All I want to know is how we save Atlas next. Okay. Let's focus on the mission. Let's focus on the mission. We've got to save Atlas. How do we do that? We've got multiple hostiles on radar. Is anyone else seeing this? These readings can't be right. What's happening? Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh no! What? Oh no! Oh no! Uh oh! Please don't be the end. Please don't be the end. Oh dear. Oh my God, the song. Okay guys, we need to review. Penny is a winter maiden. Winter is severely wounded. It must have been so hard for both Winter and Weiss in that moment. That must have been unbearable for them both because you know how much they care about each other, but Weiss is right. We've got to carve out our own path. And you know what? This is the path that Winter chose and it's the path that Weiss chose. And they still care about each other enough that she was like, I'm giving you a head start. 
run. But that had to be very hard. Oscar has awakened. They have, oh my God. Oh my God, the song. <gasps> song, I love it. Oh, I, I you know, I so, th I really so thought, I really so thought that Oscar was gonna get through to Ironwood. I cannot believe the Ironwood shot Oscar. He's right. Okay, he's really okay, guys. So he's really he's really too far gone. He's really too far. But they got what they got. Crow. They got. Oh my God. And and Robin like comforting, comforting him. Oh man. I feel bad for Robin too, cause she was just starting to open up. To the idea of and and now Ironwood like I gotta say I love that whole speech from Ozpin about who will you be who will you be it's not so much fear it's what are you gonna become in the face of that fear and I think Ironwood has really stood his ground as he is just going to he is going to just go down that path of <sighs> he is he is he is not going to as he sees it takes any risks anymore and and show any sign of softness or weakness or whatever you call it he is completely going to give into that feeling of tightening up in the face of Fear. Uh, in, the, in the face of what they have to, to face now. And I really think, I, oh my god, I, cannot, I, can, I absolutely, guys, I cannot wait for this. So, and here we go, Fear, I'm guessing, is the one we're listening to right now. Um, I just have to listen to this lyric. Yep, yep. Yup, and that. Yup. Because Ironwood has lost that part of himself that is, that you don't want to lose your humanity. Or else you become just like Salem. And that's what he's done. And I love that conversation between Penny and Winter that like, it's good to, it is good to wrestle with these things because that's what makes us human. That's what separates us. And how exactly is she going to feel about that in the wake of this new Ironwood? Oh, Monty. Thank you, Monty. Always, always, always love him. Oh my goodness. And it's going to try to play. It's gonna try to play. <laughs> it's gonna try to play the premiere of volume eight, you guys. Because guess what? That's where we're at. That was the wrap up of volume seven. And I just have so many feelings coming out of that because I think that last volume learning everything that our crew learned it just felt like the emphasis was on hope on the hope of there is a way there there is a reason why we're even facing another day now there is a way around this there there is hope and i feel like if hope was the major thing we were dealing with last time this volume we have dealt with fear. Fear and just the unbelievable way that Salem has used it. I gotta say, while all of the players have been doing their thing, so much of what has happened to destroy this situation was done by the, the so, you know, like the 
the good guys in this situation, you know, Ironwood and the Aesops following his lead and just the fact that Salem was able to so almost effortlessly play off of just the fear and insecurities and, and resulting paranoia. It's like she it's almost like she didn't have to do anything at all. And that's just what Oscar was trying to get across. That fighting is what she wants. Distrust. The the discord, the 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 mayhem that that ensues from just us fighting amongst ourselves is everything she wanted, and I cannot believe he shot Oscar. That, to me, like, no. The line is crossed, and I don't know if there's any going back with him. I really don't. I really do not know if there's any going back with him. Now, I guess time will tell. Um, but I just... So many subtle things happen there in addition to all the big things penny oh my god penny and it's like what was she supposed to do you know it was it was her or cinder i mean but penny now oh my lord i gotta say that had to be very very tough for winter because winter had so we you know kind of wrestled with you know the fact that this was going to be her role and then to kind of like not on purpose but to have that kind of torn away from you um that's wow um i don't know how winter is going to deal with everything that is happening now with ironwood i really don't is she going to be able to follow him i real i really seems like she has made her choice to yes do that, but I really don't know what that's going to look like because I feel like he has really turned a corner in a bad way. Usually you say turn a corner in a good way, um, but I feel like there is a line that has been crossed and he is, he, he has lost what separates him from someone like Salem. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So let's review Oscar. It seems has, has, merged back with Ozpin now and is separated from our crew um we have some of our crew together some of them like we know Crow is Crow and Robin it looked like got apprehended and Crow with the oh my god I just feel so awful for him I don't know what's gonna happen to him now I'm so scared for him um even just beyond the fact that they're all separated and it's I'm just so scared for him losing someone so important to him. And, and I really, like, I love that Robin, and, and Robin is really going through, I, she must be going through something as well, knowing that, like, she opened up, like, Robin had the experience too. She opened up her trust for just a second only to have this happen. And, like, that's what Ironwood was describing as well. He softened for a minute and, and, yeah, and yes, and yes, you know, there was the chess piece in his office, but the thing is, you have to consider this was this was the whole plan from the start, and you're giving into it. You're just playing right into all of it, um, and I just think he's too far gone to be able to tell that. Um, Wow, guys. Oh, first thing, you know what, guys? For a second there, I really thought Oscar was going to die. And I got to I thought either Oscar or Penny. Because they, they left that little random hint about Penny, like, not being able to bring her back um, if anything happened to her. And I'm just so glad they're all right. But where do we even go from here, guys? Because the we're, it's now us versus the whole Atlas military. What do we do now? What? Do, where do we go from here? Where do we even go from here? Oh my God, poor Clover. Poor Clover. Oh, poor Crow. And I gotta say, there's some subtle things that happen in that ending. Um, like Cinder just taking the lamp from Neo and Neo being like, Real? really, that's all I get? Like she's just being used too. I absolutely hate that Neo was just used. Because, you know, say what you want about Roman, but I really do feel like Roman, Roman was not what I would call a good guy. 
But he did have, I feel like, Neo's best interest at heart. Whatever you want to say about him. He cared about Neo. And Neo looking for that belonging with Cinder is just barking up all the wrong kinds of trees. And I just hate that. And I just, I hate it. I hate I hate it because I want Neo to be all right too, and it was it re it's, it was tough for me during that fight. I'm like I, but I really do care about her. Like who do I root for? And of course, you know I'm gonna root for um, our crew, but still, um, guys, we kind of went into this thinking: Is it gonna be us versus like all of Atlas? You know, way back. What's God? It's just oh my God, all the stuff. All the stuff with, like, Cordovan and everything just seems like it was a lifetime ago. But we, ca we kind of went in thinking, is it going to be, like, our crew versus Atlas? And I guess it's, it's yeah, yep. I think it is going to be our crew versus Atlas. And, and Atlas is about, and Ironwood's about to make a decision that is just going to utterly destroy any chance for real peace. You cannot sacrifice that much and expect to be able to reunite the world afterwards. I don't care how Ironwood is looking at this. I don't care how he's shaping it in his mind. Um, Oscar's just absolutely right. All right, guys. <laughs> what a place to leave us. What a volume. I love it. I feel like each volume kind of has a theme, you know? While pushing along the larger story, every volume has a theme, and I feel like this volume's theme was falling into the chaos that ensues from fear. I feel like that's what it was about. And uh, and sadly, you know, I just, oh, man. I'll tell you what, I really thought that was, that was a chance for Ironwood to just kind of cut. At least, at least have somewhat of a idea planted in his head that maybe just made this and he straight up shot he straight up shot oscar and i'll tell you what that's it's just unforgivable it, it really is i hope that there's hope for him but i really think if ruby has taught us anything it's that there's hope for anyone i mean god i said i think the only one who was just completely too far gone at this point would probably be like Salem. But anyone else, I feel like, um, I feel like the show has taught us that like there's always hope. There's always a way. You always have a choice. Doesn't matter what you've done. You always have a choice to make it different. But boy, Ironwood though, I feel like he's, j he's just, he's made all the bad decisions. And I just, I don't see it. I don't see him beginning talked out of it here. I don't know. We'll find out. So, guys, that was Volume 7. Volume 7 is in the books. I can't believe I'm going to be starting on Volume 8. I cannot believe it. I have no idea what Volume 8 holds for us. Um, I'm told by people who have recently wrapped it up with no spoilers contained, I am told that it is an absolutely wild ride and intense. And I'll tell you what, this was intense. This this volume was intense, so I, I don't even, <laughs> I can't even imagine. So you guys, um, I will see you in the soundtrack reaction. I cannot wait. I really feel like just even listening to it piecemeal throughout each episode, I feel like this volume has had some of the best music. And I really don't say that lightly because Ruby music is always superb. Um, but I really do feel like there's a couple of tracks that I'm like... That's going to be a fave. That is going to be a fave. So, um, all right, guys. I'll process this. We can chat about it more. Um, I might have more to say in the soundtrack reaction because right now I'm just, like, completely overwhelmed by all of that. Um, but I loved it. I loved the finale. I loved the volume. And I hope you enjoyed watching along with me. So, you guys, as always... Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to join me next time for the soundtrack. And we will listen, watch, all of the above together. Bye for now, guys. <laughs>